so today's video will be a little bit different than usual. You see yesterday I uploaded a video for Dead Space Remake. And right after I finished that video I saw an article from DSO Gaming claiming that enabling a resizable bar on Dead Space Remake can boost performance by 26%. Now this 26% boost of performance comes from people or owners of 4080, 4090 and 4070Ti and even 3080Ti. And I was wondering what kind of performance boost we can get with a 3060Ti. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about the resizable bar and I will show you how you can enable this feature on Dead Space Remake and also we'll see how much performance boost we can get with a 3060Ti. Maybe you're asking yourself what is resizable bar? You see the CPU can only access 256 MB RAID blocks from the graphics card frame buffer. The resizable bar allows the CPU to access the entirety of the graphics card frame buffer or VRAM which in theory means better performance, but no, not all games benefit from this feature. Some games even show performance loss when using resizable bar. That's why Nvidia, through their drivers, controls which game get this feature and which game does not get it. Dead Space Remake is one of the games that did not get resizable bar. So how can we enable resizable bar for Dead Space Remake? We're gonna use this tool or utility called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. It allows you to modify game profiles just like the Manage 3D setting in NVIDIA Control Panel, but with more options. Now, not all GPUs, CPUs and motherboards support resizable bar. GPU-wise, only the 30 and 40 series from NVIDIA support this feature. So you need to make sure that your hardware supports it and that it's enabled from the BIOS. You can check if it's enabled or not by going to NVIDIA Control Panel, you click on Help, and then you click on System Information, and here if it says Yes, that means it's enabled. Now before we go and enable resizable bar, let's do a test and see what performance we're gonna get if it's disabled. I'm gonna go around the game, And I'm going to hit continue without changing anything. You can see here at the beginning I'm getting like 81, 80 to 79. And if I go and open this door, I'm getting 66, 69 to 71 FPS. And if I enter this room, I'm getting 68, 69, 66. So 66 is the minimum and 71 is the maximum I'm getting here. So I'm gonna go and exit the game. Now I am going to show you how you can enable resizable bar in Dead Space Remake. You go to this link which I'm gonna leave down in the description. You click on assets and then you click on the zip file, NVIDIA Profile Inspector zip file. You go on and extract the file. And then you click on NVIDIA Profile Inspector and you open it. And here on Profiles you search for Dead Space Remake. And you go down and you find this common section, which is section number 5. You find this air bar feature setting, you click on it and you choose enabled. Then you click on air bar options and you choose this one with the zero one at the end. And then you click on air bar size limit and you choose this one with 40 in the middle. And then you go to the top right corner and you click on apply changes. And now let's relaunch the game and see how much performance boost we're gonna get. Here right from the start I'm seeing 88 to 90 FPS which is like a 10 FPS more than what we get before. And if I go on and open this door I'm seeing like 79 to 82 FPS. Remember before we get like 69 to 71. And if I enter this room 
this improvement to the performance continues. So overall I'm getting like 10 to 12 FPS boost to performance, which is nice. Now if you can enable resizable bar in your system, I want you to try it and I want you to leave a comment down below with your CPU, GPU and how much performance increase you're seeing. I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it useful. If you did leave a like and if you didn't leave a dislike, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for any future videos and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.